hey guys welcome back to my channel in my last video i mentioned i signed a contract with an agency here in the uk that can be able to sponsor applicants from overseas to come and work in the uk i went ahead to promise that subsequently i'll be bringing job offer from this agency okay so guys basically in today's video i have two job offers okay from this agency and it's a massive recruitment okay but before i continue i would like you to go in the comment section and type your profession or the niche that you have decided that you want to use and come and work in the uk okay this will help me to have a better communication with this agency and also bring out a better result and better job offer for you all okay don't forget to type the country that you reside so for example you just go ahead and write i'm a nurse ghana or i'm a healthcare assistant nigeria or i'm a medical doctor philippine just type your profession and the country you reside okay so that it will help us while planning for these things okay welcome back to my channel if you're just coming across my video for the first time my name is chinyere i reside here in the uk and in this channel i talk about my lifestyle here in the uk as a mom and also give information on ways that you can use to migrate to the uk and also give or make videos on recent job alerts that gives visa sponsorship for applicants from overseas to come and work in the uk all right so guys if that's what interests you then don't forget to subscribe and follow this beautiful family click on the post notification bell to always get notified once we make and release new videos okay so guys let's just dive into today's video and see what i have in today's job advert this agency that i'm working with is recruiting over 3,000 applicants to come and work with NHS Trust and private organization here in UK. The first job on my list is registered mental health nurses. So guys, if you are a registered nurse, but you specialize under mental health or you specialized under the psychiatric department, then this job offer is for you, okay? I will go ahead and read the requirements that you need to have for you to be qualified for this particular role. So if you see me looking down, just know that I'm trying to note my points, okay? So number one requirement is your IELTS. You must have written your IELTS academics and the overall band should be 7.0 in listening, 7.0 in reading and 7.0 in speaking, then 6.5 in writing model. Or you must have written OET and passed with grade B in all modules, okay? So it's either you've written IELTS Academics or OET. The second requirement is that you must have written your CBT exam, okay? So it's either you have written the CBT and passed it or you have booked for your CBT and waiting to write the exam, okay? Now, number third requirement is you should have at least one year experience okay working in a mental health facility or institution okay at least one year minimum of one year but anything more than that is welcomed okay then the number fourth experience you should have is you prepare your cv and your credentials then remember in that your cv you need to include all the experiences you have done while you worked or while working in a mental health facility okay then your qualifications okay a minimum of bachelor degree in nursing or diploma in nursing even student nurses are qualified to apply for this as long as you are specialized under mental health or psychiatric department okay so the eligible country anybody that reside both in the red list country and the green list country is qualified to apply for this particular position okay so guys i'll go ahead and leave the list of all the red list country and green list country so you can just go to the description box of this particular video and just go through it and know where your country falls into okay before i continue if you think there's anybody that will benefit from this particular video or you know anyone that is a registered mental health nurse please try and share this video to reach them okay so that we can cover as many people as possible even if this particular video is not for you 
I will still make more videos are still coming. I will still make more job advertisement. And one day it might fall within your profession, okay? So just help someone out there share the video to reach those that need it, okay? Now, for this particular role, even if you have not written your CBT exam, okay, you can still apply for it, okay? While we look into it and know the next step you can take, all right? Because like I said, this is a massive recruitment. This agency are recruiting over 3,000 registered nurses for this position, okay? So, for this particular position, this particular one, that registered mental health nurses, if you even, even if you have not written your CBT, you can still indicate your interest while we take it up from there, okay? Now, I'll go ahead and go to the number two offer I have for today. So, number two job for today is registered nurses, okay? Remember the first one I said registered mental health nurses. That's you must be specialized under mental health. But this second job offer is registered nurses, okay? Now, if you are a registered nurse, then the requirement is still the same thing for the one i mentioned previously the requirement for the registered nurses include one you must have written your ielts exam or oet exam like i've mentioned previously and passed um, with 7.0 in your ielts or grade b in your oet in your general module okay so i'll still list all these things in the description box of this particular video then number two requirement is you must have written your CBT and passed it or booked it, okay? So this particular one, you must have written both your IELTS and CBT for you to apply as a registered nurse, okay? Then number three requirement, you should have a minimum of one year experience, all right? Then number four requirement is your CV, that's your credentials and your other qualifications, okay? You just have to get your certificates ready for that, okay? Now, for the registered nurses offer, only people that reside in the green list countries can be able to apply for this position, okay? Only the green list countries, okay? This agency specified that they just need people from the green list country for registered nurses, okay? Like I said, the list of the green list country will be in the description box of this video, but I'll just go ahead and mention few ones that have jotted so if you reside in south africa zambia zimbabwe namibia rwanda malawi uganda Botswana, philippines india and others then and you are a registered nurse you have written your ielts passed it and have written your cbt then you go ahead and commence the application as a registered nurse for this particular agency okay Nevertheless, that doesn't mean that employers here in the UK doesn't recuse registered nurses from the red list countries, okay? No, but you can still go ahead as a registered nurse in the red list country. You can go ahead and submit your application in any care home or any agency you see that advertises. There was the last video I make about Victoria Care Center that are looking for nurses that will come and work in their care home. As I am making this video today, I also went ahead to check if the vacancy is still open and I clicked on the apply button and the vacancy was still open as at the period I'm making this video. So if you are a registered nurse and you are from the red list country, still go ahead, check this my video. I will leave the link in the description box. Check it if you have not applied with them and submit your application, okay? You never can tell the one that will work out for you. So you just need to keep trying therefore after watching this video and you find yourself eligible for these offers that i've just mentioned then you go ahead and join my telegram group i will leave the link to my telegram group in the description box and the comment section of this video join the telegram group and indicate your profession indicates you are a registered mental health or you are a registered nurse while i will private chat you and we commence your application okay I won't be leaving the name of this agency here because I need to keep my records, okay, and my numbers in order to enable me to know the number of people that I actually recruited for this particular position, all right? With that being said, I'll be ending this video here, okay? Don't forget to like and share this video so that it can reach the people that actually need this information so that many people can be able to benefit, okay? Also, don't forget to subscribe so that once I get other job offers, you'll be able to get notified. 
and comment your application all right thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye bye